Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I've been rebuilding this gearbox and it just occurred to me that there might be some people that do not have a clue about what goes on inside. So we've got the lid off. So I thought I would give you a very basic run through for non-experts just because you might wonder how it works and what goes on and hopefully I might be able to just show you a little bit about it. Okay, so this is a Ford three-speed box. This is typical of um, what they call a 1939 Ford gearbox. Um, this is a sliding gear and that deals with first and reverse. That's second gear and that for all intents and purposes is top gear or high gear. I'm going to put my gloves on because it's a little bit oily. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's have a little think about this. This is the shifter mechanism and that sits on the top. So let's say that's all, that's all you've ever seen, I'm like that. So what goes on inside? Inside there, there's two selectors. This one, this one at the front goes into that gear there and the one at the back goes into the other gear. When you move the stick to this side, it moves the small one. When you move the stick to that side, it moves the big one. Let me see if I can illustrate that. So here's underneath, and there's the stick. Can you see it moving? So when it's on this side, it's engaged in the small one. When it's on that side, it's right up there. You probably can't see it because of the light. It's engaged in the big one. So you move it backwards and forwards and these things move back and forwards. Okay. In the bottom of the gearbox is a gear the same as this. This is called the cluster gear. And this gear is in constant mesh with the pinion on the input gear there, that pinion there. This gear is in constant mesh with this gear. This gear is in mesh with that when it's slid forward to there. And down there, I might need to sort of point the camera down there, is a gear that's in constant mesh with this and it's a reverse idler. Down there is a gear like that. So these gears are all permanently these gears are all they, this one and this one are permanently meshed with there. So the way this works is that when this when that's in the middle and that's in the middle it's in neutral. So here we go that's in neutral. So what I thought I'd do just for a laugh is show you the difference between the gears. So let's move this let's pretend we've gone to the gear stick and we pulled it back that moves that one forward like that into first gear. This is the input shaft, this is the output shaft. So let's look at these. So let's turn this until we've got one turn on there. Can you see both ends? So we go one, two, okay it's coming round, it's coming round, it's coming round, okay. It hasn't come round to three, so the ratio in first gear is less than three, and that that would be two and a half. That would be two and three quarters. So it's about two point eight to one. I can only give you an approximate figure. Two point eight to one. I'll write in the actual number down below, you know, across the screen. So that's first gear. So let's let's do reverse then. So let's get get the pointers both upright. Put it in reverse, okay. So let's just adjust these. They're both upright and it's in reverse now. Did you see how 
when it was in first, both the things went the same way. Now it's in reverse, this will go the other way. So let's turn this then. One, two, three. So this is, so reverse is lower than first. Three, and that's just going to full turn. So it's kind of pointing between the halfway and the three quarters. So it's about two point, uh, 3.62 or something like that. So the reverse is lower than first. Let's slide this back here. Let's try second. So when, when you bring the stick out of reverse, it brings that to there, then you go across the gate and you go into second gear, which is here. This is a three-speed box, obviously. Okay, so that's good enough to start then. So let's do the same. Now, can you see that that's going quite a lot faster than it was in first? So that's one turn. And it's there already, look. And it's roughly about the same position, but it's one, about one and, let's say, 1.6 something. That would be 1.75 there. So it's about one point you know, six something. Okay, so that's second. And top, there's top, is, who knows it? Come on, you must all know, it's one to one, isn't it? So look, for one in, you get one out. That's high gear or top gear. We tend to call it top gear in uh, England. So there we are. What else can I tell you? These gears are synchromesh. This gear runs constantly in mesh with this gear, so this is called a constant mesh uh, setup. And this is a sliding gear, so that's it, a Ford three-speed box in very simple terms. Three speeds, one of which is straight through, one to one, and a reverse, and that's it, dead simple, not much to it, very compact as well. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that little overview. Um, but what I've shown you there is how, let's say that you're in a scrapyard and you want to know what the gear ratios are in a particular box. You can do this sort of thing, count the turns and derive the ratios. Because it might be that you want a particular one and there's some others that look similar that are no good and they've got wrong ratios and you don't want them. Um, just a little bit of, so it's slightly more geeky, but can you see the helical cut on that, on the shaft, and the helical cut on the teeth? As this gear slides, the, the helixes follow, I mean, if I hold that screwdriver still, that doesn't touch the screwdriver. The angle of the helix is calculated to match that. It doesn't match it, but it matches it at a lesser angle because it's on a tighter radius. Okay, that's probably a little bit too technical for those people who I said in the first instance. <laughs> if you don't know much about them, I'll, I'll tell you very basic stuff. Okay. Right, thanks for dropping in then. I hope that's a little interesting overview. And all manual gearboxes are similar, just some of them are more sophisticated. Lighter gearboxes have the synchromesh on first as well, and four speeds as well, and then you've got a separate reverse. So, and five speeds and six speeds and so on, but this is a 1939 design. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.